The ZMR Project, Episode 3. Welcome back. In the previous episode, I upgraded the ESCs and noticed some improvement. Still, look quite as laggy and also wobbly. I decided that I need to upgrade the motors next, but I'm not ready to put in the best motors that I have at this point. So for the time being, I'm setting up a set of Emacs RS2205S, also known as Red Bottoms. Let's see how it flies with these, and then dive into the rest of the electronics. So I went for a quick flight. My first impression was that the quad was more stable and had less vibration. And at this point, the most obvious shortcoming is the delayed response to my stick inputs. And I'm almost sure that this is because of BPM. So to remove all doubts, I decided to upgrade to a new F3 flight controller before swapping out the receiver. Alright, it's time to open up this old dog and finally replace the F1 flight controller. And the choice for this is the Betaflight F3, which replaces not just the flight controller board, but also the PDV. So let's do it. So when I replaced the flight controller I figured I could run a little experiment. I have two receivers set up right now. The PPM one which is the D4R and an XM Plus for S Plus. And I can switch them via software so I can do something really interesting. I can do back to back flights, one with PPM and one with S Plus and see how that works out. So I just did the experiment, I flew S-Bus and PPM back to back several times and oh man, I just can't believe how much worse PPM is. In theory, the latency difference is like 50 milliseconds or so because PPM is supposed to be 70 milliseconds and S-Bus 25, but it's huge. So the takeaway from this is if you have a mini quad take out that D4R and use it for a wing give it away just don't fly PPM with a mini quad for any reason ever and um, so I guess that's it for this episode in the next one I'm probably going to I guess replace the frame or the video system and maybe finally get to the motors Thanks for watching, please hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.